Luke Burbank has sent us a postcard from Bavaria by way of a small town in Washington State. It's a Wednesday morning in tiny Leavenworth, Washington, which means it's also time for the most Bavarian alarm clock you've ever heard. <laughs> Nestled amidst the Cascade Mountains, Leavenworth regularly shows up on lists of the top Christmas destinations in America. And 10-year-old Reed Baker agrees. I like the town and how it's like just so wintry and I love Christmas, so it's my favorite time of the year. Would you take this at Christmas time over Disneyland? Yes, definitely. And it's not just at Christmas. In fact, the town's Bavarian theme brings tourists all year round. Last year, over three million people visited Leavenworth, and many of them stopped by Kevin Rieke's store right on Front Street. They're called Lodens. They're 100% wool hats imported from Germany. And uh, let's so have you try one on. Try that Rieke's one on. dad started the family business 50 years ago, originally making wood toys. So it's kind of sawdusty, and, and he made two of everything. So if he sold a toy boat, he'd just run to the back and craft a new one right then and there. So by day he's selling toys and by night he's literally making the toys. Uh, yep, that's the first year, that's kind of how it went. That's uh, like very strong Santa Claus <laughs> vibrations. The total complete Bavarianness of Leavenworth is really something to behold. And it's no accident. The town has building codes as strict as any you'll find in the US. Any new construction, any remodel project, any signage change, has to conform to our Bavarian, our old world Bavarian code. And it's governed by a board that's appointed by the mayor that's there to enforce or to interpret the code. But here's the plot twist when it comes to Leavenworth. Under all this alpine winter wonderland stuff sits a row of humble brick buildings, the remnants of a town that came very close to dying. The buildings themselves, many were boarded up, some had, you know, the windows broken out of them. I mean, just what you would expect for a town that every other business is closed and just didn't have much going on. Ann Peavy grew up on an orchard just outside of town. Here These days, the she volunteers building. with the and Greater Paul Leavenworth Museum, which tells the story of a boom town fueled by timber and the railroad that eventually had all but busted. So then the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s, you know, They've said that the people that, that stayed in Leavenworth were the people that couldn't afford to leave or they had their livelihood that was gleaned by something other than lumber and the railroads. Then two strangers showed up with a big idea. Bob Rogers and Ted Price were partners in both business and life who decided to take a chance on Leavenworth. <laughs> Bob had been stationed in Bavaria during World War II and had fallen in love with the architecture. The Squirrel Tree Motel the men had purchased together soon became the Squirrel Tree Chalet, with waitresses dressed in dirndls and even the occasional visit from a local bear. Business boomed. Somehow they were able to convince just enough of the business owners in Leavenworth to embrace the idea of betting everything they had on a complete makeover, which is where Robert Johnson and his dad came in. One of the techniques of making old wood, or make it look old, was we'd take a, a torch and burn the, the surface of it, and then somebody would have to take a wire brush and brush off all the light grain so that it would look like it was weathered. And I was the one that always got to brush all the charcoal <laughs> off of <laughs> I was, I was just, you know, at day after day brushing, and that was for the first storefronts. Johnson has come a long way from those tedious tasks. These days, his family owns not one, but two hotels in town. One of the largest, the Enzian, and one of the newest and hottest ones, the Post Hotel, run by his daughter, Robin John, and her husband. We started going into the Alps, and what we found were these unique wellness hotels over there where people were in the lobby in their bathrobes and we just thought wow this is really different than 
what we have over here in the States as far as what we've seen. The hotel is pretty much sold out for months. In fact, it's so popular that people tend to think their website is broken, but it's not. It's just another sign that this fake Bavarian village, which was nearly trapped by its past, has a very bright future. Well, that's why we're Miracle Town, because it it, it's a small miracle that this confluence of factors came together and the community became successful.